The Doctor's TARDIS has been caught in the time corridor. Prepare for duplication, Rob. I obey. Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. This is literally just a quick video. Um, if you watched my um, toy hunt from, um, it must have been a couple of weekends ago, when I went to St. Evanage with my son and we had that full English, and uh, popped into B&M, and I picked up another set of History of the Daleks, Resurrection of the Daleks, purely because I've been watching everyone else open both variants and because Resurrection is my favourite Dalek story of all time my second favourite is Remembrance I thought I've, I've got to open up a second one as well so I did buy both variants um, originally from the Letchworth branch but in St Evanage they didn't have any Davros they did have uh, both um, Resurrection variants and I thought you know what I'm going to buy another uh, grey variant and get it open it does mean that I've got two um, I've got two supreme Daleks but he's one of my favourites and we, I've wanted him for so long I don't care maybe I'll do a, a custom <laughs> which because I've been threatening to do some Star Wars customs for ages so uh, maybe I'll do I've never done a custom uh, Doctor Who figure before so maybe I'll give it a go but um, yeah you've seen me review uh, this figure um previously which is why i'm not expecting anyone to watch i'm just doing it for me but i want to compare um both variants of the uh, drone dalek so so you know i mean this this has been done to death on youtube in relation to reviews um but i'll say it again i love i love the box that character options has done this is perfect for getting autographed at like a comic con um, especially, you know, with uh, you know Peter Davison getting him to sign sign this or Terry Malloy. I know um, you'd probably rather get the uh, Emperor Davros signed by Terry Malloy, but he was in Resurrection of the Daleks. Um, it's just a perfect box for autographs, I, so I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, uh, I need, even though I'm not too sure about the the, the colour of the uh, of the Dalek drone. Um, I sort of feel it's too light, and I feel that characters should have done it more like the Five Doctors, um, Gallifrey Dalek. But it is what it is. I love the story. I love these toys. I can't. I can't grumble. And now I'm going to open up a second one. So as you know, I don't bother keeping the boxes because I haven't got the. I haven't got the room. And also with these particular ones. You have to rip the bubble off where the Dalek is kind of placed inside. So there is no point, in my opinion, in keeping these. But there we go. So there is the. Uh, there are the two Daleks in the bubble. Let's, uh, so normally I'd, I'd uh, edit this and uh, do a little cut here, but. As I said, this is just a quick video. I just want to do a comparison. Yeah, it's such a shame that you've actually got to rip the Daleks off. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's move that rubbish out of the way. Oh, and here's my, uh, here's my hand Solo. Um, his little speeder. I'm, uh, do you know, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the Lando. They're making a, is it a Lando movie? But I wish, I really enjoyed Solo. I wish they'd make another, like a Solo 2. Um, there's definitely room for it. Um, so that is a bit disappointing. Or I'll do it like a, or have both Lando or, or, and Han in it. Um, that's, yeah, they should, they should do another Han Solo movie. But anyway, I don't know if it's too dark because the uh, the sun has just come out and I'm not sure if it is uh, too dark to show these. Uh... Oh, that's a bit better. So let's, uh, let's 
it's just adjust the camera. Right, so yeah, the Supreme Dialic, just 10 out of 10, amazing. I absolutely love it, it's great. So I've now got two of them. <laughs> but I don't care, it's, it's one of the best Supreme Dialics out there. No issues with that whatsoever. But this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to compare. I wanted to compare them to the. Uh, oh, it's gone dark again. It's that sun. Nice November sunshine. See, so, yeah, I mean, look, look at that. Yeah, look, I know they're both exactly the same, but it's, it's just the. Uh, the silver uh, paint applications. Is it too dark? Can you see that? I think it is too dark. That might be a bit better. So, so this is my original one with the silver paint application on the mesh. Then there is the uh, standard grey. Yeah, I mean, this was one of the re this is one of the reasons I wasn't going to buy a second set. I was going to get whatever was available. I was a bit surprised, to be honest, that there was going to be so so many of these Daleks in stock. But yeah, I you know I prefer the, the, the I prefer the original Dalek I got with the uh, silver paint applications on there. It just looks more finished. But it's my favourite story. So now, now I've got um, I've got two two different Daleks to go with uh, my resurrection set. So I, I think that I think that's really nice. And uh, and, and of course I've got my uh, I've got my other Supreme there in the background. So yeah, I'm well happy. I'm glad I I'm glad I did pick up another set. And I really, I, I still love what character has done. Just with that little bit of red paint application just on there, um, on the end of the gun. I think it's a lovely touch. It's a lovely Dalek. Yeah, may, maybe it is the wrong, maybe it is the wrong shade of grey. I think it is too light, but I'm saying that. And with the, the sun's pretty low at the moment. Um, the, 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 my Daleks look actually, they look quite dark um, in relation to their, the, the, the tone of their grey. So, may, so maybe um, AD has got it 100% correct and um, this is the right shade of grey, but they look darker because of, uh, I mean, a lot of it was those photos and also the studio work was quite dark on that um, spaceship. So um, I, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pleased with these. It's my second dialect set, 10 out of 10. I don't expect anyone to watch this because it's, uh, <laughs> I've, already, I've already reviewed this. The only difference is it hasn't got um, silver paint on there, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed. I think, talking of chuffed, I think it was Chuffy Far. When I saw that he'd bought two sets and, and, and Chuffy Far, he's an opener. He doesn't keep things in the packet, he buys things to open, and I thought, you know what, I need, I need a second set. And, you know, I was in, I was in B&M. I was in B&M in St. Evernage with my son. I bought some Christmas lights, 25 pounds, 1,000 um, colored lights, let your eyes be your guide. They're going in the garden. Um, and then I thought, you know what, I've got to, I've got to get this uh, second Dalek variant to open. And, and I'm glad I'm glad I did. But that is the uh, that is the end of the video. <laughs> I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. If you bothered to watch it, which I doubt you you, you would have done, because it's just it's just me opening up my second Dalek Resurrection of the Daleks variant with no editing whatsoever. But that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. Also helps the channel. Hopefully, we will. Well, in theory, we should be getting wave two of the B&M sets in December next month. Hopefully, there'll be uh, lots of figures for us to uh, choose from because 
it's Christmas and people won't have the cash to splash. So I'm hoping I'm not, I mean, to be fair, I've been all right, um, you know, picking up my Doctor Who figures, you know, over the last um, year or two, although I didn't, as I've mentioned before, I didn't find that um, Time Lord free pack anywhere local whatsoever. I, you know, my wife did get me a set from Cambridge and gave it to me for Christmas. But hopefully we should be fine, especially with Christmas just around the corner. Um, I'm not, as I've mentioned before, I'm not really that fussed about the uh, uh, 10th Doctor free pack friends and foes. I'm, I'm not interested in it. It's, it's a very nice looking set. Um, but, I mean, I'd, I like the clockwork droids. I've got, I've got the original black and blue. Um, I, did, I missed out on the purple one, which is the one that's worth money. I like the fact you can take the head, you know, take the, the masks off and it has like the clockwork, um, you, you, in, in a kind of like clear plastic, you can see the insides of the clockwork droid. But I don't, I don't really think I want a, like a yellow clockwork droid. I don't really need it. And I don't remember seeing a yellow clockwork droid in the, uh, in the girl in the fireplace, which I've watched a million times because it's one of my favorite episodes. I love, I love the episode. I'm not really a fan of the Doctor falling in love, but I, 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 I really liked it. I liked the concept. It was written by the Moth as well, and the music by M Murray Gold was just amazing for that particular episode. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really need another um, gold clockwork droid or a, or a Cyberman either, if I'm honest. But the um, the uh, Ninth Doctor. Dalek two two pack. Um, I think that is that is the set I do. I was I wasn't sure at first because I've got loads of uh, new series Daleks that I've picked up over the years, but the new version does look does does look good because of the uh, the yeah you know, the, the, the it's got different color variations because it, it's from the uh, it's from the Emperor it's from the Emperor Dalek. It's his, uh, what is it, it's, it's one of his, uh, is it the Emperor Dalek's guard? And, and also the other Dalek has the, um, the, the cut, you know, it's got the blowtorch, it's got the cutting tool rather than the plunger. So yeah, I'm up for that. Um, they, you know, it, it does, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good set. But we'll see, we'll see if, uh, we, we'll see if we can find it um, next month, December, Christmas literally round the corner but as i said that's the end of the video and i will see you in the next one